Hey guys, so fall is finally here and I'm super excited. I can't wait to show you all the looks that I put together for you guys. Um, today I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette to get this look with this cherry plummy kind of dark lip that I have going on. If you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're going to start off by moisturizing the face. I'm going to start off by using my Clinique Dramatically Different um, Skin Moisturizer. And I'm going to prime my face also with the Maybelline Baby Skin um, Instant Pore Eraser. I actually had that in the back of my drawer, I think I told you in my last video. I've been kind of loving it now because it actually has like silicone. So I just like the way, I just like the base that it gives my face for my foundation. So we're just going to take a small amount on our hand and just put it over our face. Okay. For foundation, we're going to start off by using the Naked Urban Decay Naked Skin in the color Deep. I really love this foundation, but it is a little bit light. I look a little bit ashy, so I have to mix it with my MAC Skin Fluid, um, an NC45, I believe it is. Or NC40. And I think it's 45, because 40 is too light for me. Um, I'm going to take... Um, a little bit of this in both what the, oh my god what am I talking about I'm gonna take my Sephora pro brush yes pro brush and um take two pumps of the urban decay and take two pumps of the MAC cosmetics and on the top of this brush and just use it on my face I love the finish this brush gives it gives me a nice flawless clean finish it's not streaky it's not powdery it's not messy it's not none of that obviously not be powder because it's a liquid but I do like the finish it gives. It's a really nice finish and it actually blends out your foundation perfectly for me. Now we're gonna prime our eyes using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I'm a little bit excessive with it. I don't know, that's just, I don't know. I just like to use a lot. I, just, I don't want my eyeshadow to move or budge or just look ugly. So when I don't use primer or concealer as a primer, it actually, gets really messy and I don't like the way it applies on my eyes so we're gonna use the same foundation brush to kind of buff it in now we're gonna go in with our Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette in the color golden or orchard orchid orchard it's not orchid it's or orchard orchard whatever we're gonna use the brush that it comes with we're gonna use the fluffy side and we're gonna use it as our base in the transition color um, I use a couple of colors. I just want to make sure everything looks seamlessly and not like, you know, sloppy and not blended. Now we're going to go in with raw sienna. Again, fluffy side of the brush. Right under golden orchard, darker, whatever. You know what I mean. I'm not the best reader, guys. Don't judge me. So we're going to use that right in the bottom of, our, in the bottom of that color that we used previously. And we're going to go in with burnt orange. And we're going to put this right in our crease. Again, using the same brush. I like the brushes that Anastasia have. They, they use in their palette. I just feel like they're really good blending brushes. I haven't used a highlight brush. I'm actually thinking about ordering it. Let's see how it comes out. Now, we're going to go in with this Morphe. I believe it's a 3-5-T palette. I could be wrong. We're going to use this golden color right here on our lids. These palettes from Morphe are just like, they're really good. So, I'm going to take this MAC. Um, 242 brush I believe it's a flat brush and we're gonna take that color we can actually if you want more color payoff you can spritz your brush spritz your brush spritz yeah actually matter of fact spritz you can use your Mac Fit Plus oh my god and wet your brush to make the color pop out more okay now we're gonna go in with the color Regal Real Gar Real Gar Real Gar whatever it's the orangey color in the corner I love this because it's definitely a fall color a fall palette I can't wait to do more looks on them Oh, it's so pretty. The colors just scream fall and Thanksgiving and just happiness and warmth and just life. Yes, it really does. For me, it does, and I like it. Now, we're gonna go on with this dark color in Cypress Umber. And we're gonna use the other side of the brush, which I like also. It's a really detailed brush. And we're gonna use it on our outer corners, a little V section, as you can see. And I'm gonna blend it out with the same side of the brush. You're gonna see in a few minutes so we're gonna use a little bit just to kind of give 
a little bit more depth, a little smokiness to make it look nice. I love the way this look came out. I was actually, I kind of just, you know, just decided to just freehand it and just see how it, come, how it comes out. This brush right here, my friends, is a paintbrush. Yes, it is a paintbrush. And I use it for wing liner. And I'm not really good with gel wing liner, with like gel light, with gel liners. Oh my God. And this brush made my life just that much easier. Like I've never, you don't understand the struggle that I've had with so many brushes. Look, look how cool that was. Like, no, exactly. Okay, now we're gonna go with the color temp, 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 tem, tempera, tempera, tempera. I can't read, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just not with it today. Um, this is a Morphe brush. I'm just gonna use it to highlight my brow bone, and we're gonna go in with this Benefit brow definer. Um, can you see my new obsession? I haven't used the powder or the or their um, brow gel, and I cannot wait to buy it because the way this pencil brush pencil brush this pencil this brow pencil did my brows like you're gonna see I'm just so obsessed I can't wait to buy the other two products I think it's so worth it it is a little pricey it's very similar to the Anastasia but I am so obsessed like you don't understand I love the way my eyebrows come out like you don't understand we got this little mini um sponge and use our Urban Decay um, Naked Concealer this is the color medium warm medium warm no, medium dark right yeah medium dark in the warm tone and um yeah this concealer like i'm loving their naked line from urban decay like can we talk about that for a second i've been slacking i love the way it just covers my under eyes and it highlights my the highest points of my face like i've just been slacking seriously like it's yeah as you can see i'm gonna blend it out a little bit with this brush because my, my sponge wasn't working for me it was too small so as you can see, I'm going to blend out those lines, those harsh lines. And it's going to look so nice. So excited. We're going to bake a little bit, not too much, with this MAC translucent powder. Just like literally under my eyes because I crease so easily. As you guys have seen in other videos and some of my pictures, I try to prevent it, but it's so hard. And a little bit on the top there. We're going to only just, we're going to bake for a few, not too long. We're going to pop on our lashes. And voila, lashes on. This is from Huda Beauty. This is with Samantha lashes. This was one of her first lashes that she's made. That she's that she made. I love these lashes. I'm obsessed with these lashes. Like you don't understand. Huda Beauty lashes are my life. Like I could just buy all her lashes and they all look amazing. I love them all. So we're gonna take that orangey color that we use in a palette along with the cypress umber color, the dark brown, the two colors at the end of a palette, just to smoke out our lower lash line. And we're gonna use our Morphe contour palette. Yes, I'm so excited I got this too. Use the two colors right here to contour our face. I love the way it looks. I'm gonna use this Morphe brush. I have the I finally got the my hands on this freaking brush. I know I just I guys I've been slacking, I know, but it's a really good brush. Um Morphe. Yes, can you say pigment? Yes, so you have to be very careful, you have to blend everything out, but I love the way the color came out. It doesn't look muddy, it doesn't look too dark. I feel like it came out pretty good. I obviously stippled, you know, a little bit, but just look, just, oh my god. It wasn't even that much product, and look how nice it looked. So I hit the bottom of my brows with the Smashbox um, mascara. It's a pretty old mascara, but I like the way it looks. Now we're going to use a highlight in the middle of the palette, of our Morphe palette. A fan brush, again, from Morphe. Yes, we're going to end it off today with Morphe. And we're gonna highlight a little there. Yes, I like this highlight. It's a really natural, like very sublit like highlight. It's a very nice highlight. I like the way it looked. Came out pretty good. Now we're gonna use the Sephora Pro Stippling Brush, and we're gonna just melt everything in and make sure there's no harsh lines, and just make sure everything's nice, not too crazy. Like we put on our face today, we're gonna try to look as natural as possible, people. Yes. Now we're gonna go with this bro with this blush. Oh my God, with this blush from Becca yes this is called snapdragon I love this blush so much like I've been using it so much lately it is so pretty now we're gonna go in with our lip liner from Jordana I believe this is called berry and we're gonna line our lips using Jordana lip liner I like the lip liners they're affordable and they're good and they're pigmented and they're creamy and they're life yes loving it and the star of the show which is this Maybelline Color Sensation Plum, Vivid Plum. It's the color Cherry Bomb, I believe it is. 
obsessed. We're gonna finish our face off with this um, Tarte of the Sea um, mist. I like the way it came out. It hydrates my face and uh, voila! And this is the finished look guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this look, please give it a great big thumbs up. Subscribe, comment down below, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much guys and I will see you next week. Bye.